Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Now, uh, I was going through the houses, seeing who was in which house, uh, seeing if we had any people that we could pair up, and I've come across this house. Now, Gerwin is 62 and Oleg is 17. Now, I'm assuming Oleg is his son. Um, Actually, let's make that house Gerwin so we can find it easy enough again. Right, if we go to our people, Gerwin doesn't come up with any family. Uh, if we go to Open Details, which is F, it just shows his house. If we go into that house and that one and click on that open details it doesn't show him as having any family so let's have a quick look at Oleg see if that says the same thing where are you Oleg uh, 17 year old right now that shows him as having a sister but it doesn't show him as having a father so I'm wondering if his mother and father have passed away and um, Gerwin is his stepfather because if I go to Gerwin's house and try and put somebody in there uh, the one I want to put in there is Alruna because she's a single woman lives in a house on her own no husband, no children. Well, not any living with her anyway. If I try and put her in, it'll kick Gerwin and Oleg out of the house. As you can see. So they should now be um, homeless. Although, yeah, it's not showing them as homeless, and I don't know why. Right, let's come out of that and go back into it. Now does it show them as homeless? No. So where is Gerwin? Let's find him here. Um, Gerwin. Right, so it's showing that he's moved into that house up at the mine. So his son, presumably, has gone with him. Uh, I'm just going to check that as well. Oleg, 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 17 year old. Yep, yeah, they're right. So they're both living up at the mine. Now, if I go into that house and let's do it by name. It's not going to be any easier to find, I don't think. Uh, mine, 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 mine. Uh, right, that one. Now, if I kick Gerwin out, technically, because Oleg lives with him and is under 18, Oleg should go with him in the same way that they were both transported to this house when we put the lady in the other house. But if I take Gerwin out of there, Oleg stays. Now, he's only 17. So if I take him out of there and then go back to here, he's now homeless, so we need to find him a home. Now you would expect it, him only to be able to go into an empty house, but it's giving us all these options of houses with single people in. Now it's also saying that we could put him in this house with Alruna and yet when she was living when we tried to move her in to Gerwin's house it kicked the both of them out so there's something not going on here, right here I don't think anyway let me try and find uh, a house for him to live in right well I've actually found him a potential candidate uh, Ermina Ermina um, she's only a level 6 animal breeder, but he's a level 10 farmer, so 
that would give them uh, at least a level 8 child. So let's see if we can put him in there. Where is he? Oleg. Uh, let's do it that way. Yes, we can. Now, interestingly, it's saying that we could put Gerwin in there as well. But he's 62. Anyway, we just put Oleg in there and... Right, good. So they are both in there. And... We need to put... Uh, Gerwin back in his old house with Alruna. Right, so that's accepted that. I don't know what's going on there. Gerwin, uh, Oleg should not have been able to move in with anybody because he was underage. Unless, like I said, Gerwin was his stepfather, so not his proper father. If his mother had died as well, that technically makes him an orphan, so I suppose we can put him where we like. That's really weird. Because um, a couple of those options were women that were over 60 or certainly late 50s that we could have moved the 17 year old in with. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's spring. Um, we've paid our taxes and wife has a quest for us. Hello, Hello dear. dear. Uh, oh, we've missed you too so much since we saw you the, the, only an hour ago. Um, right, I've missed you. How's my beautiful wife doing? I'm tired. He's. You've only just fallen pregnant. He's been kicking my belly all day. It's like he wants to pierce through. I adore his passion, though. Wait, did you just say he? Ha! <laughs> I did indeed. A soothsayer was passing through the village last evening, laid one hand on my forehead and the other on my belly. Then he smiled and said, Your boy will do great things in life. Is it true? Can it be believed? I overheard the women talking about him. He's never wrong. That's amazing. OK, I know you wanted a son. Well, no, we wanted a daughter, actually. Uh, which father doesn't? But curb your enthusiasm a bit before I think you wouldn't be happy for a girl. You know I would. I would love a bunny if it came out. I would love a bunny if it came out of you. Uh, no, you wouldn't. Right, right. Stop talking already and go celebrate. Um, you're the one and only. I wish I had time for it, but you made my day... I wish I had time for it, but you made my day with this wonderful news. And we didn't get, apparently, any extra affection or anything like that. Right, um, okay, so that's her quest done. So, a bunny in the oven is the title for the video, I don't know. Right, let's see what quests we've got. Uh, oh, got a couple in the town. Get rid of that so we can see him better. Yeah, two. Doesn't appear to be a lot else happening anywhere else. Um, is there a herald? Damn. Damn and blast. Right. Well, we might as well actually. I have a plan. <laughs> Well, plan of some kind. Um, right, I'm not sure what this is sounding like now, but somehow I managed to delete my folder with all my saves in it. Luckily, um, I still had the game running in the background, uh, so I was able to do a, another save and basically recover from where I was so it also got rid of all my graphic settings and all my sound settings so I'm hoping that this isn't too loud 
Um, I'm not going to know till I obviously play it back to edit it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, right, so I need to grab some bits from here. Right, well I grabbed a load of bits and pieces. Now, the plan is to try and make um, some sort of crib. Obviously, wife is expecting. So, we need to try and make something for the baby. Um...
Why is that? Ah, right, the head's up in the air. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to grab that and not risk moving it. We'll do that again. Right, get you flat. Thank you. Well, flattish. Um, it's a shame actually. I was thinking about trying to use the larger basket, the one that has the two small handles, so I could hang something from the handle. But I don't think it would go in there. Uh, where are we? Yeah, we. You, yeah, that one. So if I got that, like that, in there, uh, I think it would have been too big, actually. No, just. Stupid thing. You're sent to try me, aren't you? That, like that. Yeah, that would have been too big. Way too big, that's a shame. Alright, um, okay, so we have a, a crib for our newborn. Uh, right, what else are we going to do? It's a shame we can't actually put something in the house. Have I got any planks on me? No, bugger. Um, well, this one does need something here. So where's our hammer? Uh, not that one. Damn. So, oh yeah, we can't put anything... Right, so it's got to be on a blank wall. That's a shame. Yeah, it'll only let us do the window. Bugger. Uh, well, actually, up here, that wouldn't be too bad. Because... Especially if they've got river views. These houses here... Um... We change these, there's one there, change the walls for these walls, and then, oh, they're all blooming high up, though. Uh, yeah, that one. Um, let's come out of that and get more of a sideways view. wider but nowhere near far enough apart so it would have to be that one or that one all right that's a shame real shame we can't put the like we can put oh I wonder actually thought maybe there was something on the wall on the inside that was going to be stopping us from doing it and I've hear a child laughing I've had another idea as well for well not really an idea thank you right in my ear it's something I should have done a long time ago when I put all, built the houses uh, or we'll go across it um, I didn't think to put any fur rugs down, so that'll help boost their moods. So I'm going to go around and probably spend the night doing that. Right, well I spent um, all night doing all the um, houses, all the rugs in them. Uh, well, I say all of them. Um, uh, 
bugger. Oh, I don't think we're going to get this up here. Uh, all right, well, let's try it anyway. Um... spend all day faffing about up there couldn't I um right so yes we do have a porch of sorts now I did suggest a flash crow about right outside the house uh, using planks and actually that would be Right, let's get rid of that one. Uh, we're going to need to get rid of that one. Uh, and we're going to need to get rid of that. And we should be able to do it then, if we can get close enough.
I think that would do. Yes, um, hammer, hammer. Right, we'll have you, and we'll have you. Ha ha ha! Oh, I like it. Love it, love it. Can we get up there? No. Uh, come off that. Oh, I can't take a screenshot at the moment. Um, actually, I might be able to. Uh, if not, I can always pause the video and take a, a screen grab of it. Right. Um, yeah, so last night I spent all night putting all the, the fur rugs in the houses and right there yeah their mood's probably not going to change what are you missing what are you missing it's a farmer yeah like an absolute idiot i'd used up all the wheat uh, making flour so i could make flatbread uh, and hadn't thought to save it save any um to replant because I wasn't planning on replanting any uh, they've only got it's about up past two so they've got what three and a half hours so they might be able to get about mm, half that lot done maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more I mean it's pretty much all level 10 farmers doing it so they'll do the best they can now what are we going to do over here um i could do with putting some more fences up really uh, come on grab no we don't want the mushrooms we want those sticks please stick 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 um, might as well have a bit of a tidy up not that it'll last long because we change season in a few hours um have you guys Oh, I've got plenty of sticks now. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking, rather than, as we, well, we can put some um, Ujima flips up there. I think what I'll do is just carry on these wicker fences down by the sides of the houses.
That's pretty much going to be it though, isn't it? Uh, if we go across from there to... I can't see where the blimmin' thing is. Thank you. I think that would be alright. Right, um, I better get cracking then. Uh, we got any stamina? Yes. Right, so I will say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, by all means, leave a dislike. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, drop them down below. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.